My name is Mari Carmen Bañuls. I come originally from Spain and I've been working in the Max Planck Institute for Quantum Optics now for quite some time. I first joined in 2005 as a postdoc and since 2013 I'm a group leader inside the theory division and I work on the numerical simulation of quantum many body systems. My name is uh, Philip Price. I'm a group leader at uh, the Max Planck Institute for Quantum Optics. I've uh, been in this position for about uh, two and a half years, setting up two new experiments to learn something new about fermionic many body systems. My name is Dimitri Kormin. Uh, I'm a postdoctoral scientist in the group of Professor Ferenc Kraus, and my uh, direct uh, responsibility is the development of a laser that in the future will be used for at a second experiments. I first started as a particle physicist and that was phenomenology, uh, very different from what I'm doing now. I did a PhD uh, in, that, in that topic and then after finishing I decided I wanted to do something much more applied and I moved to computer science and did a PhD in distributed systems. And in this time I got very interested in quantum information too, so I started working on that and had the chance to apply here uh, as a postdoc to really move into this field. My scientific career has really been tied to this field of uh, quantum gas microscopy and quantum simulation with ultra-cold atoms. Um, I started my PhD in 2010 at uh, Harvard University in the US when actually this field of quantum gas microscopy had just been born. In 2020, I uh, got an ERC starting grant, which then allowed me to also move to MPQ and to start my own team here. I studied physics in university, but more in the electronics direction. Then I also worked a bit as electronics engineer. And afterwards, I decided, OK, let's try something deeper and more challenging. And then I came to do a PhD here at Max Planck Institute with a connection uh, with uh, Ludwig Maximilian University. When I arrived here, there were many postdocs already, and I, I made very good friends, and everybody was very supportive, and it was really a nice environment. From the very beginning, I liked it a lot. It was also challenging because I could see that people had a very high level. They were very good at what they did. They gave great talks. We had a lot of talks then, and that was pretty impressive, so and, and motivating to try to catch up. <laughs> The Max Planck Society in general is all about basic research, right? So uh, that is everyone's goal, to make it possible to really do this sort of uh, fundamental physics and set up kind of the infrastructure around us to be able us, uh, to, to enable us to be successful in that direction. So that means having kind of the technical support, the technical collaborations, the workshops here, the electrical engineers, the mechanical engineers, but also really, um, yeah, the sort of theoretical support, make connections to theorists, establish collaborations, uh, and to really sort of guide the research at a very high level. And I think one can say that MPQ is one of the top places in the world to do this kind of research. Max Planck divisions, like the theory division here, but also the other divisions, they have this budget which is independent, which is for doing research in the topics that, that these great people who are the directors find the most interesting. And, and this drives research of the first line. So there is resources that are not linked to continuously asking for grants and applying for grants and depending on, on that, that gives a lot of freedom and that gives, gives of course, the, the possibility to develop work that wouldn't be possible. There are so many different opportunities, so many different tasks that if somebody wants to be more concentrated on a very specific topic and dive deep into this uh, science and be the very best expert in the world, it is possible and it's very appreciated. If a person is more interested in uh, having broader knowledge and then communicating with other scientists, with other research groups, it's very welcome. This is how the scientific communication happens. So this is what I like the most in science. So really, it's full of opportunities and possibilities to find whatever you like. Munich, I would say, has really become one of the leading centers for quantum science over the last years or decades, right? So there are many excellent theorists here that we 
talk to that really inspire us to, to perform new experiments. But then also there are actually people working on many other quantum platforms in the Munich area. And that is very nice to have this ecosystem, right? to interact with these people, to find out what's hot in their fields, uh, maybe what the challenges are, where we can sort of reinforce each other or complement each other. Uh, and that is one of the very nice aspects of being here. There are many collaborations going on. Also, new people that join the group come with their own collaborations. So uh, then we get new visitors, new talks, and new seminars. So the network is always growing. Yes, it's very, it's very impressive compared to uh, to other places I've I've been at. Yes. What's actually very important is to always have good people around you, right? The quantum sciences are very dynamic at the moment, and that's actually quite exciting, right? Because you no longer have just the sort of academic, traditional academic career path. You also have other career tracks in, in industry and startups and we see that students are taking these routes and so basically the field is diversifying a bit in terms of the opportunities. Students typically uh, they spend some time wondering about what to do next. Some of them have very clear goals of going to industry after the PhD and some of them have very clear goals of going to academia after the PhD and many of them do not really know and they are exploring options so I, I always say that the best thing is to to talk to many people to talk to people who are in academia and outside academia to try to get a bit more their feeling how how is their work doing a postdoc is a great experience because you are somehow independent and you can explore your ideas and and feel liberated from the obligation of finishing the, the PhD so even if afterwards you want to change uh, and go to industry, it's still a good experience. But at the end, everybody has to take their own decisions. A postdoc, in contrary to a PhD, has a broader range of tasks and uh, the requirements are uh, correspondingly higher. So a person is expected to uh, do some planning work, to uh, teach the students, to do onboarding of a new team members, communicate with the group leader and other group leaders in order to get the newest information from the adjacent fields and try to find a way to implement this knowledge uh, in his own project. So I think that all these skills are very important for personal development and uh, they are strongly appreciated nowadays. Being successful in academic research is challenging, right? It requires a lot of commitment and time and work, uh, but being in a place where you know that many people have gone through this process successfully and have become leaders in their fields afterwards is very inspiring.